Hello, people. Um, the difference between monopoles and dipoles is ground planes. Ground planes are to radio waves what mirrors are to light. So if this was a mirror and I put this pen here, I will see a reflection of the pen below. And that's what happens with radio waves without a mirror, just a metal plane, a big metal plane. So you put it like here. Now, what is the problems with creating dipoles? Dipole antennas, in essence, we make very complicated ones to cover all the bands, but it's got two poles. Okay, so the life of the uh, coax goes here, the braid goes here. Okay, and these antennas, in other words, don't care about the ground. Okay, and this is the nicety about them. The problem with them is if you just connect a coax to them, and I've seen many people fall into this trap, then if you just do a coax, then there's unbalanced currents. So the currents on the inside of the coax are balanced, but on this side here, there may be a current running on the outside of the coax. So what you then get is the one half looks like this, and the other half is supposed to be equal. Okay. Then this antenna behaves. If this happens, or oh, point this way, even worse, this coaxial cable now becomes an antenna and could be interfering pattern-wise. So lots of problems. You have to have a balen, and I'll explain balance in more detail later. And uh, if you don't have a Balen and it's not broadband, you could mess up a dipole. But if you've got that, why is it better than a monopole? Okay, monopole antenna uses this uh, mirror that we talked about, and it does only one off of this guy. Doesn't need a balen, okay, because it's not balanced. It just the braid of the coax goes to this guy, and the inner goes to that guy. No problem. Don't need balens. Um, but what really happens is it also gives you a fictional 3 dB gain. The reason for that is that where that guy would radiate a pattern that goes up and down, this guy, theoretically, if it's on a very large so-called infinite ground plane, puts all the power in the one hemisphere, so it doubles the power. Doesn't really happen in practice. This is reason to avoid monopoles wherever possible. They make it possible to do a smaller antenna, I'm sorry, but what they do do is you put them on a car, that's like that. You sometimes put them on a box, like a meter box, that's like that. That's not an infinite ground plane, people. And you sometimes even put them on a wooden or plastic thing, not realizing that this thing needs the ground plane. And typically, the ground plane is not part of the antenna. You know, the antenna just looks like a doogie like this. Or if you really buy the crappy stuff, it just looks like a piece of wire going up like this now. Hopefully you don't buy that. But this guy here looks like a monopole, isn't a monopole. In our case, we put dipole, or if it's a shortish one, we put just a single, very complicated dipole in there. Okay. And that makes means it doesn't matter what you mount it on. And that is the big problem because the mounting, depending on a small, big, whatever, your pattern will be destroyed by it. These guys here, as long as you remember this. And all the other good things that I've said before, good omni, good bandwidth, and so forth, um, the dark pulse is a better choice.